Hey, are you expecting a baby? Are you wondering what's going on in the delivery room? Or how do doctors determine if your baby is going to be okay right after birth? Well, as soon as a baby is born, the delivery nurse sets up a timer for one minute and five minutes. And as soon as each of these times is up, the nurse or the doctor gives your baby's his or her first test course, known as the APGAR score. The APGAR score is a scoring system developed by Virginia APGAR that gives an estimate of your baby's general condition at birth. In this video, we'll talk about what is APGAR score and what does it measure? What does A, P, G, A, and R stand for? And what are normal test scores? And what is not? And how is your baby gonna be depending on these scores? Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquet. I'm a board certified pediatrician. And my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. The APGAR score. It is a scoring system that doctors and nurses use to assess a newborn baby's condition right after birth. It was developed by Dr. Virginia Apgar in 1952 and used her name as a mnemonic uh, to stand for the five categories that physicians and nurses assess. Since then, most medical professionals across the world use the scoring system to assess a newborn baby's uh, condition during the first moments of life. Um, it is used to quickly assess the status of a baby's overall general condition, where low scores indicate that the baby may need special treatment, for example, some help with breathing. And what happens is, right after birth, the nurse or the doctor announces the baby's APGAR score in the delivery room to let everybody know how baby is doing. So what does the APGAR score measure? It measures your baby's heart rate, breathing, muscle tone, reflex response, and your baby's color. What it does not indicate is that how healthy your baby is going to be as he or she grows up or how he or she will develop. It does not also indicate how bright your baby is going to be or what's her or his personality going to be. What it does do is that it alerts the medical staff that your baby may need some assistance like your baby has some trouble breathing or is sleepier than usual or slower to respond. The APGAR score is divided into five categories where each category gets a score of 0, 1, or 2 points. At most, the best score is a 10, but it is rare since uh, in, for a baby's first few moments, they usually have blue extremities. So A stands for activity or muscle tone, and the baby gets zero points if he or she is limp or floppy, one point if the limbs are flexed, and two points if there is active movement. P stands for the pulse or heart rate, and zero points if it is absent, one point if it is less than 100 beats per minute, and two points if it is greater than 100 beats per minute. Now, G stands for grimace, or the response to stimulation, such as suctioning your baby's nose, and zero points if it is absent, one point if there is facial movement or grimacing with stimulation, and two points if the baby is coughing or sneezing or crying or withdrawal of the foot with stimulation. The second A stands for appearance, where zero points for if the baby is blue all over, one point if the body is pink but the hands and feet are blue, and two points if the baby is pink all over. Then R stands for respiration or breathing, and zero if it is absent, 
one point if irregular or weak cry, and two points if the baby has a good, strong cry. Do you want to know what the scores mean? Is a score of a 7 okay? What if the scores are low? What does it mean then? But before we go to that, do you have a newborn? Or you're expecting a baby? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival? Where you feel confident about breastfeeding your baby? When you know how to soothe a crying fuzzy baby? When you know when to worry and call the doctor? When you can understand your baby's sleep schedule and better take care of baby and better take care of yourself as well? How much better life can be when you can get the training and the comfort of your own home? Well, I've developed an online training video series known as the 5 Newborn Care Strategies. Do check that out in the description section. So what does the APGAR scores mean? As mentioned, the APGAR score is recorded at 1 minute and 5 minutes. A low score at 1 minute, the medical staff would most likely intervene or increased interventions would have been started already. At 5 minutes, the APGAR score of the baby should ideally have improved and the low APGAR score at 5 minutes, it's then reassessed at the 10 minute interval. What is a normal APGAR score? Well, a score of 7 to 10 at 5 minutes is reassuring, while a score of 4 to 6 is moderately abnormal. Most newborn babies have an APGAR score greater than 7, uh, although most babies do not get a perfect score of 10 because the hands and feet are blue until they are warm. An APGAR score of 5 to 7 at one minute may indicate that the baby might have had some problem or that there might be a low oxygen supply in the blood. So intervention would have been done where the baby is dried vigorously and oxygen is delivered under your baby's nose and this would improve the baby's oxygen supply. In a small percentage of babies, the APGAR score is less than 5, usually in preterm babies or those who have had an emergency C-section, which indicates the difficulty of the baby during labor or there might be problems with the heart or the lungs. So what if the APGAR score is low? A score of 0 to 3 is concerning. And usually if the APGAR score is low, a mask would be placed over your baby's face to deliver oxygen. If the baby is not breathing on his own or on her own, a tube would be placed through the windpipe. And fluids and medications delivered through the blood vessels in the baby's umbilical cord uh, to strengthen the baby's heartbeat. And the baby may need special care in the neonatal ICU. The value of the APGAR score is to give medical professionals an idea on how baby is doing immediately after birth. It does not have any bearing, however, on how baby is going to be for the long term. Take note, the APGAR score is just one of the several assessments used by doctors and nurses on baby's general condition. Hey. If you like this video, how about you share it to three of your friends who might need it. And watch my next video where we talk about other child health problems.